So when you are in land and read this contract, people are putting money for you to have something from that place. So it also means that when you produce value and go away, sometimes I request money to people's life and go away without money for you and without paying without them paying you. The universe will put me somehow and produce you for that money. So when those people create value by writing about me or somebody else, and then you read and you learn something, don't you think you deserve to be paid for that, right? And how does that happen? And sell that version. So whatever it is that you're doing with your own as a means of organization, what you're selling will essentially Is that clear for those who are not bloggers? <laughs> Is that clear for those who are non bloggers? Yes. 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 Okay. All right. I saw what Prince was doing here. So he uh, was teaching about uh, traffic. Yes. Yeah, I think that you don't follow things and that you make your fist. Your fist, right? If you get it. So it's, it's a freestyle. I have a couple of key points of what we seem too much. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about yeah. is whether blogging is business or not the college. That's the first thing I did with when I came over there. It's a mindset issue. Psychology issue. Right? Somebody is blogging. He's your friend. He's doing one thousand dollars. And that person is blogging. Your friend is doing five thousand dollars. What's it? Apart from the level of knowledge that you possess, somebody is taking it more seriously than the other. Because anything that is a hobby for you may not give the kind of attention to give the things that are business. So the first thing you have to decide as we move ahead is is blogging the business or the hobby. But if you paid money to be here, it's a business. It's a business. And you treat it as such. So if it's business for you, it means you give you some attention. It means you invest money into the business. There are people here who websites are $10 dollars a month. $10 dollars a month. I understand there's no money here, right? But I think the business, businesses find ways to get money in their businesses. Okay? So have it in mind that what you're getting into is business for those who are into agriculture. It's interpreting the leisure system. You're putting money in. There's no food anywhere in the street of the United States. You're never going to see free money. You're going to see shit in this industry. And even if you're doing SEO, and you think about uh, getting traffic, you're not spending what you're doing. You're spending your time. You're spending what you have. Yes. This meeting we are spending here now, my cost of coming here to you and moving my head on my I really know that I'm going to it. It's not, it's not in that. Right? Why? It's a business. And it's a business if you have systems. Okay? If you have systems so that things can run independent of how things around you are. Right? Okay. So when you're starting out, the first thing you will choose, which is where this house will divide now, is whether to build. Whether to build or to buy. So you're looking for access. You're looking to get into it. You want to say something? Okay. So if you're looking to get into blogging, right? There are two broad ways, two parallel streets that are very difficult to meet each other. So it's either you're doing SEO or you're doing arbitrage. We have been in a good device. We have tested both the water and the wine. You know which one is there? Yeah. So SEO is this side, which entails building, if you are starting out, and then 
arbitrage is inside, which is the fast way. Okay? So for the small guys, it's difficult to find that we survive here. But you think it was easy, it was a few years or two years to be able to build or something substantial. Okay? But even if the small guy comes here, there's still a way that you can pick up within a couple of months. So when you decide, whether blogging is business or only for you, the next thing to decide is whether you want to build or to buy. So if you want to build, there's something like there's a platform I want to show you guys. I don't know. Jobseekers.com. Jobseekers.com. So if you want to build, the first thing to do is of course apply for Google Access. And I want to talk about monetization. Google Access is not a good way to make money for our website. As a matter of fact, I have a site that I'm going to write how long I'm going to a site that is not a license. So, a license is not the only way to make money from blocking. But the problem with that is that it's not for the small guy. For me and for those who are my students here, when I teach you things, I show you most times my life accounts. I teach you from my life account the things I'm doing. I want to copy what I'm doing. Because the truth is that. If you copy what I'm doing and replicate it, you will get this result. Right? So, all right. Okay. So, if you want to do, the first thing to do is to, of course, create your blog and apply for access accounts. Okay, that is for those who are doing uh, SEOs, right? So, if you want to apply for access, It down. And I know people well. here who are doing the business of AdSense. You will explain it. AdSense is big money now because if you get approval, AdSense is free to get approval. Okay? So if you get approval now, today you can sell it for like 100k, 120 k Is it not true? So there are boys on the internet in this business of blogging whose job is to get approvals and sell it. And some of them go over and get married. All the same. Okay. So it means that this is even a channel, a source of income. So that as you're working on your growth in this industry, there are small, small things that I'm giving you. For those that have time, for those that have the time, for those that have the time, these are small, small things that I'm giving you. Design the home page of your website as a service. Two, buy expired domains and apply for access to quality content to build faster as well. So those are the two things I'm sharing with you on the things we got. And the work. The work. The faster to build this one works like Wi-Fi right now. That's what you uh, Last month I had uh, somebody, um, a couple of Boys who sell access got over 11 accounts. Surely. 11 accounts. So, I can do that. Okay. So, of course, when you are approved, the next thing is to get your account to verify and then we start dealing with uh, content. And then, in terms of content, like I said earlier, you must have value. For you to start your content, whatever strategy you are having, you must choose a niche you want to get into. You cannot be able to be a hero. As a matter of fact, your CPC, your goals, your income, your earnings in this industry is largely affected by your niche. Right? So you need to choose where you want to be. You cannot be up and down. Today you are talking this, you are talking jobs. Next month you are talking uh, insurance. Yet you are nowhere. Okay? So you have to choose a niche and be able to establish your authority in that regard. I'm dealing with those who are building. 
Are we together? Yes. So that we don't lose track of where we're going. I'm dealing with those who have decided to go. Those who have the long patience and talking of the ministry that they want to. And one of the first things I'm sharing with you guys is going to help those who are also going to right? have a comprehensive course. So when you apply, of course, you get approval to the niche, and then you start producing quality contents. And then for those who are going to be doing contents, what you have to do is that you don't want to have a green light. I know you like your neighbor. I know you like uh, President uh, Tinubu. I know you like uh, you know different people, but you cannot write about just about anything you want. When you decide your niche, the next thing is as you're dealing with content, you must do keyword research to understand what it is you need that you're writing. Okay? Whether or not you have the capacity to rank for that thing. Okay? Keyword research. So there was a time that people were raving about backlinks for SEO. It is still very much valid right now. Okay? But quality content will always be. Quality content will always be. So when you do your keyword research, I wish you had allowed me to prepare this slide. But the lesson I have on keyword research in the course of doing this is very really good. Then you build your backlinks and then you're able to get some traffic that will come to money. How does your traffic come to money? Is there anybody here who doesn't understand it? Is there anybody here who doesn't understand how traffic comes to money? Yes. You don't understand this. So what happens is that our sugar money, Google, is a platform. My own sugar money. The sweetest sugar money. Anywhere in the world. What sort of sugar money will wake up and send me thirty thousand dollars? I don't understand. The sweetest sugar money. So our sugar money is a platform, right? Where people, it's a connector platform for people who have products and who have a platform audience traffic. Okay? So if you have a blog right now, and you're part of the access program, the owner of this building probably wants to sell the building. You take pictures and make videos of this building. Go to Google and say, I have this building in Kedja. I want to sell it, but I don't know anybody in Kedja. Right? So Google will carry this because you have traffic likely coming from Kedja and some of this. And the public will place it on the website. So people who visit your website will not see it and probably come and buy the building. Right? The money that the owner of the building paid to advertise that thing on Google, Google and the bloggers will share the money. Makes sense? So it becomes a Google station. The owner of the building gets sales, the blogger gets a percentage, 68% for someone else. Google takes 32%. Okay? That's clear, right? Yeah, it's important. Okay. So to the main talk of today, traffic. It's traffic. The life wire of every blog is traffic. It is not enough to have a blog. You may have a blog now, even with that sense of it. But if there is no traffic, there is no money. There's nothing like that. Okay? And traffic means the people visiting your website. There's also writing content so that search engines can invest that content and serve it to people. When you search for who is the president of Nigeria, it's not Google that is telling you that thing. It's people. Other people are telling you. Google doesn't own the information they are serving you. They crawl, invest, and stop. So when you search, they serve based on the relevance of your search. Right? So how do you get this traffic? The one that um, the one that we are learning is paying Facebook to to give you traffic. The easiest way. Yes, you exchange money for traffic. Okay. Another person. We're from the members. So I, I want to distinguish that the kind of blogging we do is not uh, Facebook blogging. I 
I'd like to make that uh, point that the kind of blogging we do, because there are people who are content creators on Facebook, yeah. okay? and they make a lot of money. Okay? But it is a little distant from what we do. It's related, it can even be separate. So what we're talking about traffic, is not to write something so that people share it, and therefore, you know, because if you start sharing your blog link on your, And the people who follow you, won't they or follow? <laughs> you share it every day, every day, every day. And then how much? How many people are following you? I don't have to do anything else to go. Because I have websites that need to work with them. So I don't understand. If you pump traffic, okay? Days, weeks, you see millions of people. So how can you drive that for your pages? It's, it's a little hard. So it's different. Okay, so traffic is broadly divided into two. There's organic traffic and there's inorganic traffic. Organic traffic and inorganic traffic. For those of us here who are into um, SEO, which is search engine optimization, which is what I explained earlier, that is the organic traffic. The idea of somebody visiting your site because that person is looking for information on his own is not induced, is not paid, is not pushed to come to your website. That is organic traffic. So if somebody picks up his phone and types friends, Gabriel.com and goes there, maybe he does use to read that is organic traffic. If somebody searches on Google, it's organic traffic. Right? So that's that for SEO guys. But I'm here for the happy traffic guys. We are that's here. My, that's my mission. We are here. We are here. Okay? So traffic for the happy traffic guys is using money. Using money to make money. So this hundred dollar deal can give me five hundred dollars. Can give me three hundred dollars. Can give me four hundred dollars. Depending on the traffic I have, where I'm using the traffic, the costs, and then the conversion. Right? So where can you get this traffic? How can you get anything on any traffic? Uh, friends, we already touched uh, uh, Facebook. Okay. There's Facebook. I have a list. I want to give you guys some new traffic sources that write it down. And it pains me the most that I think I'll have to shoot the video on how to see what has on this traffic because it's, it's not okay. It's not okay. I will mention them now. Yes. I will mention them now. Okay. Okay, it's an apps platform. Mm -hmm. It's an apps and platform like Google. E V A D E V. Yeah, from that. Agle, Agle is spelled A D G L A R E. Agle. Oh, sorry. It's my dear. What Am I a block? Hey, you're not getting the special number. Type of the first one. Angle. Say about the easy. Easy. My blocking. Hey, about the. Let's 
There is also, of course, Sprout Week. You must have them this one. Have you not? No, not today. Not today. It's okay. Anybody who finishes from here, if you have a job and you refuse to make money, in fact, you pay us extra money. I'm not money. <laughs> By October, yes, you're going to take stock. By October, your group. I'll show up in October. If you, don't, you refuse to make money, you're owing me money. Because the reward of knowledge is the result. The evidence of knowledge is the result. So if knowledge, effort, value goes out of here and does not produce results in the end, there are only money. There are only money. Some of these things are things I teach in my leadership program for a million life. I don't know how much you guys pay. But anybody pay one million? Yeah? Some of these platforms are things I teach for one million dollars. I'm going to show you a video on how to set them up. Okay? So please, you must commit to implementing. Okay, so give them swap week. Okay. Give them the kid now. Yes. yes. Time boss. Time boss. Yes. I know you know that one. Yes. 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 They are old, but they work. Right? They are old, but they work. Okay? Are you guys getting value? Yes. yes. Are you with me? Yes. There is one extra that I was supposed to add. But I will add it towards the end of this form, depending on how we are able to operate. Let's go. Have you looking for better ads? Yes. Now, I think we should stop. Stop. Thank you. Can I go now? Yes. Okay, so the point I was trying to make earlier is that it is not in hearing this thing. It is not in seeing it. It is in doing it. It's not comment by doing, not by hearing. Results. Comment by practicing over time. Okay? Some of you are starting out on new career. You are going to face issues. Okay? But if you know your own 
means multiple problems. Okay? You are going to face a lot of issues that will come up. But the fact that you are well prepared means that the challenges are things you are going to surmount. And that if you wait, if you tarry, because there's something that happens. Some people get into this skill drive. Okay? And they want to make money overnight. I want to make five million in my first month. On your party, I will go for that years. And you went to school. You spent four years in school. Five for those of us that study here. And law has not paid you. But you cannot sacrifice three months to a journey that's supposed to be your money. So it is very important that even as you relate, you are to relate. What consecutively? Okay? Consistently. This is super, super, super important. Very, very important. Okay. This would have been so nice if uh, I actually came with a slide showing you this thing from real life. As I, I, I see now that we're only on half time. So you can also direct uh, you know, benefit traffic social, through social media as a source of traffic. You can direct that to emails. When people visit your site, it's like somebody coming to your shop. Your site is your shop. In fact, I call my own site my Alaba International Shop. That is my shop. Like my laptop right now is, is, is that going to be the the sweetest hat that I have. I don't play with it. It's my warehouse, my brother. I don't, have, I don't play with it. I don't joke with it. Right? So, the same thing applies in offline business and online business. In the sense that people shouldn't just visit your, 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 your store, take it in and go. And there's no reference point. There's no touch point. For those of us here who are doing offline business, you understand that. Your money is in repeat sales, not in one of sales. Is it not true? So if you are able to have 500 persons who buy things from you consecutively every month, that's good with you. It's better than 1,000 persons that you will never say you want to be getting a room. So the point of emails is to make sure that when people visit your site, they don't just go. They should have the way that you are able to bring them back to your website. Okay? Emails. Stop traffic. Then pay that advertisement that this one's have mentioned. And I, like I promised you guys, I will provide videos that will guide you on how you can set up the ads so that it doesn't become hard to measure because hard to measure is more dangerous than those things. Okay? If you have the image, you know how to use it. It's dangerous. Because you go and do something and then crash, there will be issues and there will be price. So let's talk about traffic banking. I just mentioned, I just talked about it briefly now. Traffic banking. Traffic banking. Traffic banking, traffic banking, traffic banking. I know persons have mentioned this to uh, you know, me. And for those of you, I, I can see my brother here. He's part of us. We uh, must have heard him talk about it you know, over and over again. I currently have about 1.3 million subscribers on What it means is that I can send message to 1.3 million and some of them will come. Of course, not all of them, but some of them will come. What it also means is that I don't have to, there are blocks I have that I don't have to spend money every day on that. Okay? So, 
That is what traffic banking will do for you. So as you're sending traffic to your sites and you're making money, whether from Facebook or using or whatever you're sending it from, you should put in system in place and make sure that you garner these details. You give these people to subscribe to something that you can record them at you without spending so much money. You are spending a lot of money to run ads on these platforms. All these paid advertisements. A lot of money. You should have a way of drawing these people back without spending that kind of money. That way, all have your revenue to increase, right? Are we together? Yes. So one of them, the first one is web push notifications. Web push notifications. And I always recommend two. Notice.co and wonderpush.com. Notice is spelled N-O-T-I-X. And wonderbush.com. Wonder and then push.com. Now, I want you to understand that this is not going to work for you magically when you're starting out because you probably have very few people. So, if you have 2,000 persons visiting your website today, you will get like just 100 subscribers or 50. But this works in a combination. I have a friend who has over 7 million human beings that are subscribed to different channels. There are days he's able to do over a thousand dollars per subscription, one night on advertisement. Okay? And he's not doing uh, login as per manual login, he's not doing that. Just two subscribers. Okay? So, web push notification is there. Um, the emails I talked about. Are there too. You can also do groups. For those who are influencers on Facebook or different platforms, if you have a group that is centered around what you do for your job, let's say you're a doctor, you talk about medical things, and then you put people together in a group. That will serve as a source of content if it is big enough. Okay? You don't push content to share, utilize it to If you don't pay this with money, Bank your traffic. Because if you start now, if anybody had told me when I started having crash to start banking my traffic, by now I wouldn't be running ads. Even if I'm running ads, it's very minimal. Okay? So the best time to get started with banking traffic is now, not tomorrow, not next month, not next year, now, today. Okay? of blogging is ever changing. Okay? The things that are working on a six months time or one time will not work. You need to be constantly clogged with flow of information. That is why communities are very important. Uh, Prince, you have a group? Yes. So please, be part of the group, get engaged, connect with people, and they know what's happening. Don't use obsolete knowledge. Don't rely only on obsolete knowledge. It does change over time. <coughs> I also want to talk about the challenges uh, bloggers are facing. Some of you uh, already have uh, blogs now facing the issue of ad limits. And I have just a few solutions that I want to share. So, one of the biggest issues that uh, bloggers are facing is the issue of ad limits. We all have now. Limit your account and that is this for so long with time, right? I thought long and hard about sharing some of this one that I want to share now when I arrived in Lagos. But I told my my team member that they were doing that I want everybody that comes here to go to Bali 
So I found out in the course of my research that Google doesn't really like us as subjects. But we care less as long as we feel as we want. Google doesn't really, really like a lot of traffic coming from Africa. Okay? And even other European countries too. So I found out something that they use it to pick up admin and it has worked for a lot of people. And I knew sharing this, I started sharing this for passwords. So I knew what we have to do. And this is the first public tool that I'm sharing. So I'm making no cloud play here. Yeah. Cloud play. You can use cloud play to help remove admin. So what you do, you set up your your account. Connect your website and allow only traffic from USA to come to your Set up your account and block every traffic coming to your website. Even you said we're not be able to use the website. Block every traffic apart from USA. I want to send a guide to not to do that. Because you know to so I'm going to send the guide to friends who share the video. Right? If you do this in five to seven days, everything should work. From my own experience, I'm not taking this If you're also dealing with ad limit issues recurrently, maybe it's time to switch from direct access to ad exchange. Are you know about ad exchange? Yes. Ad exchange. Maybe yes. yes. Okay, so ad exchange is like a platform. Where everybody comes to collect ads. It's controlled by Google. Okay, so the the ads are started on your platform, probably from other stage. So this person will collect, this one will collect. It's like it's like a distributor. Okay? Then other platforms are like resellers. So sellers. The biggest advantage of other stage is that it does not have ad limits. You have not been experiencing ad limits And it also has increased revenue share, but not necessarily data revenue, because if you run ads on AdSense, AdSense is not profitable for me, from my experience. AdSense is not profitable, from my own experience. But you have to deal with this and ask yourself the question, do you want consistency or profitability? The choice is yours. Do you want to make $10,000 now and not make another one in two months? I want to be hitting 77k. That's just what we want. 77k. And for those who are part of my group, I teach this. You must set a target. Okay, this is what you want. Because that you can make money does not mean you should make money. That you can make money. That you know that you can run, can jump to UDM and run ads. You can jump to Time Boss and run ads. And then you pump traffic to your website and you make money. It does not mean you should make money. Because there's something called ad ban, ad account ban. And you may be banned. AdSense is more profitable for me, but there are people who have seen that AdS is more profitable to them because ad exchange is paying like sometimes 75 to 85 percent of the revenue. Remember the analogy I gave you about somebody who is selling this house. But AdSense is saying paying a house is 80 cents. But most times when I run ads, AdSense is mean like five of my money, and seven of my money. Right? But ad exchange, the highest I've had there is like three of my money. Some people have had beta, and there's nothing wrong with that. Your process may be different from my process. Okay. So these are platforms you can get approval for ad exchange if you want to run away from ad limits. If that's the only way, and you are intentional about consistency, making money from the platform. Because if you run a physical business and you are doing here, ten to twenty percent of profit from your capital is not bad. If you buy a product now. I sell it at 20% interest. It's not bad. 
you buy and sell at 50%. You buy this laptop, there's a possibility that you will not sell at 50% profit. But it's only in this business that people put in $100 and pay $500. So because we're used to that to the family, if we now run an engagement instead of our money, you feel it's, uh, it's abnormal, you don't work anywhere. You know, it's working very well, you're just the one that you I am the one that just do. But it's working well. Even if I run ad on others and I get just a little of my money, it's not, it's not bad. If I spend 10k, you get 20k, it's not bad. It's not bad. What kind of work will you do in this country? Not, uh, you're not a Buddha, 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 you Okay, so there's um, profit sense. These ones are particularly close to me because the CEO is my friend. Um, have a so they're doing well. They're doing well. There's ad push up. Ad push up. There's Didna. DIP. There is also mango. <laughs> of course, uh, set up ads. Zoic is also there. Set up ads. Set up ads. These ones are my enemies. But I have to include them because they may turn out to be the best thing that happened to me. They're my enemies. Okay, so these platforms, what will they accomplish for you? What they will accomplish for you is that you have some peace in this land. Okay? For those of you who are starting out, the first time you're going to receive 1,000 payments from Google, you will know that the night of printed is very long. <laughs> The night of 20th of every month, which is the longest night. You may not sleep. You may not sleep because an email will come saying one day, right? Check yourself. Check yourself. Oh, it could be the other one. Oh, God. That will dread so much. Okay? So, what this platform does for you is that you have some. You don't believe when you know all the books in the world, you have some things. So if you make $1,000, you have the likelihood of receiving it. Like, they are not as full to buy as success. But these are my experiences. Other people may have other divergent experiences. Okay? So I'll be sending you guys um, a cursive video. Then you can undertake if you want to. And also, I'll be sharing. My contact with uh, friends. Is there any contact in this life I have that I'm not been sharing with? I'll share my contact with him. Some of them, some of the owners of these platforms are people that have a detail of it by virtue of what I do around. So that uh, if you want to get in, you can see how you can get some. Okay, so I want to talk about um, account account ban. Account ban. Account ban. I when I came in, I heard uh, friends talking about 
you know, there's a place you, you don't have a buying account, so you have like a of making it. That's that's cool. Right. But what if we can reasonably avoid the account taken by the workers? Okay. Almost all the business, including my small self, I encounter very long time. And some of these bands are traceable to a couple of factors. Right? Like the, the money I lost last month is well over 20 million naira. I know why I lost that money. I have an idea. A lot of people say, I'm not the owner of the group, but I have a business like that. The major reason I lost the money was because I broke my own. My rule of employment is that it's encapsulated to the same that I can make money so it does not need to be sorted to do so. And you can make money so it does not need to be sorted to do so. So what happened? I was uploaded my account. So those of you who are starting and you are going to be buying AdSense, please, when you buy AdSense account, if you have not received payment, don't go about firing the account. Do not go about firing the If you don't have good money to buy a very old account, it's a very old account. 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 It's a This is one of the, the biggest factors that you need to buy. I've not been under buying in a very long time. Okay? Until. I do the, the ta -ta 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 kind of pumping, right? Because I remember that that account I got back, there was a particular day I did over 4,700 dollars in that account in one day. Because the mood was ending, so I felt that there was a need. Of course, it's common sense. If you can run ads with uh, $200 to get $1,000, it means that if you increase that ad money to $1,000, <laughs> it's not true. It's not true. It's common sense. Like I said when I started, all the things we do are processes. There's no magic, there's no prayer, there's no fasting, there's no it. Just copy it, adopt it. Even when you adopt it, you may have some challenges, right? But those challenges you perceive will be corrected. I'm not making money now, but I don't know if you don't make money. Okay? So I found the account. First day I started out, I was putting the account at like 900 dollars. It's a money. <laughs> so this. Okay. So before the month ended, the account had over sixteen thousand inside it. So it so happened that they were not so considerate. They were not so nice. And then they kept trying to continue my business. <laughs> <laughs> what actually happened? As you get started, look out for your account capacity. Think about this thing as a business. It's very important. Never take sight of the idea that this thing is business. If you're the owner of Boko and someone is firing five thousand dollars in a day, my God, no go check out. Even though sometimes I've done it before and I went free, I received the money. But then, one day, one day, it may not be in your favor, right? So on the issue of account ban. I would not want you guys losing your accounts, right? It's very important. Please do not overload your accounts. Look out for what is the reasonable threshold your account can do. Now that you're starting out, if this account is one day old, you can collect $200. Okay? I hope that it. It's about 100K, right? Not so bad. Next month, when you're living around that one month, not so bad. Third month, when you are getting this thing, how about 1000 you are doing like anything you are doing in this country and receiving two thousand dollars every month. It's not bad. It's not so bad. Even though you can do more, right? So build up your account business. But if you have money, buy solid account from the one you have your own. Friends, knows, okay, this guy is giving somebody the same account. You have funds, buy solid accounts. 
The second thing that this would account is traffic sources. Traffic sources. Traffic sources. Is one of the biggest issues that's causing account traffic. And recently, Google launched out a new update by tracking the this IP. Okay? Tracking this IP is because some people are going to come and click on ads over and over and over. Okay? So if I pay this uh, my digital system to go to my website and click on my ad, the person who owns that ad are not getting it, not anybody. Do mm -hmm. you understand? The person who's selling this house now is on my my website, the ad is on my website, and I come and I pay everybody here. See, I get one of them like just go and press that thing, press the yellow button. I'm pressing it, I'm pressing it, and money is growing. But the, thing, the money in access used to go like this. You just go out in the morning. It goes like glass. You go out in the morning. Yeah, some of us that have a lot of business, sit up your heart in the night. You don't have business. Before you sleep, you sit up your heart. Okay. Because the biggest asset I have is the power to control my time. So you know the things I get into, I don't like getting into things that fit my entire time. I don't like that for us. Creativity has no limit. Just because imagination has no bounds. <laughs> okay? So when your entire time is taken from you, you don't have time to engage your creativity. So that's the major thing that I do. So I stop my ad, and I go to one and I probably around the world, just refresh my ad sense to see some money. Right? Just like that. So it's possible that you guys will be in different locations pressing this thing. But the real person who is selling this house has not sold the house. He has not gotten any price. Nobody has even chatted him to say how far, how much did he sell the house. Why? Because now my family members were there here. They are not genuine customers. They are not genuine. And these same my family members who come back tomorrow and press it again. Yeah. It's communal money. We are just making. Okay? Yeah. Let's understand. I'm just making. So I make some money. I pay you guys. You come and press. But then there's no transfer of money. So when I try to I try to establish value. That the essence of what we do is to provide value. So when there's no transfer of value, it's like there are so many self-taking methods, but there's no transfer of value in that. There's money, you make money, but there's no transfer of value in that. So because of those things, people will move without uh, a policy that is tracking the inside. So the way they're sitting out is now. So most people that are close to me, I'll just say if you get on, get on that exchange. Avoid, uh, because if they are not giving you value, you really need some assets. Get an assets in to avoid uh, just leave assets now. Unless you are, you are among the biggest, you have a good business account. Right? And then everybody's um, faith is not entirely the same. So I'm not trying to instill fear in you. You must also recognize the fact that every business has a risk or two attached to it. Okay? If money were that easy to make, Everybody will have money. And in the field of wishes, if you go out now and give somebody something I like to do, sometimes I go somewhere, I find somebody that they never see me again in my entire life. Hmm? They never see me again. Is, right? Yeah. When I gave him one reiki, he prayed for me and said, God bless you, sir. Right? This will happen, this will happen. If those prayers were the victims that had that money, please, please, please. Like if it was going to work for him, 
by doing nothing to nothing about prayer sin and the money. Okay? But because value has gone out for me, that value will return. So it's not for me, you may not see me again, but that value will come back. I don't mind. And that's not how long it takes to come back. So when people click on ads without thinking, there's no value. Even you it is the policy <coughs> that will stop that. That thing is what we lawyers call quid pro quo. Quid pro quo. Yes. Something that's how it is. It's like giving money to the So that's why a lot of accounts are getting paid. <laughs> right now. So it's important that even as we do what we do, we make the money we make. There's abundance, my people. I have to tell you guys, there's abundance. Because of my session with some of these ad platforms, I've been opportuned to see a platform that does 1.3 million dollars worth in the United States of America. One of I'm connected to one of the managers of the village. It's my very good rise. So I want to let you guys know that we are just scratching so we are, we are inconsequential in the grand scheme of things. We are irrelevant. Why do we start it? You, I, are inconsequential and I rather in the grand scheme of Google things. I've also seen one million, I've seen nine hundred thousand, I've seen seven hundred thousand. But the right that a business is not a one man could show me, right? What does a business come together? Put in effort that they are able to pull out massive amount of money. Okay? So please understand that possibilities exist, there's abundance, and that from this abundance that you can get, from this abundance, you can get, from this abundance, 200, according to um, the research center, um, I think it's statistical, about 240.7 billion dollars. Was spent last year on advertisements. About 240.7 billion dollars. How many of it cost you? You may see even one thousand dollars on that. One thousand, even half hundred, even three hundred. But I would receive ten million, twenty million. I would receive one hundred thousand. Okay? So I'm challenging you guys as I'm closing. I'm telling you guys to please know that there's abundance and to please commit to this journey. It may not be easy, it may be tiring, it may be difficult, but please commit to this journey. It is a rewarding journey. Some of you already know my story. I, I came from a very poor home, right? But that has changed. That story of yesterday. I should call you some woman from my own life. The things that my family desire, the things I desire, to be able to do for myself, for my people around, to be able to take in the lives of people. This habit tracks something. It's not a matter of boasting, though, really. But there's nobody doing habit trash in the case of this country. And there's more people making money for that money. It's not directly, it's not directly. It doesn't matter whether it is connected directly or connected sideways or upwards or downwards. Or... So, I am a living example that through Google, a lot of us here who are really making money, I live an example that through Google, you can do the numbers. I know most of you have money, right? But that you can do the numbers you want to do. Some of my friends who are in UK, like I used to say, that you can be in UK and not be in UK. Some of my friends who are in the UK, money that prays can be in the month, they will not do it in a year. So I want you to know that it's a privilege to have access to this knowledge, to have access to this platform and be able to leverage it. So you must commit to doing the tough work. Nobody is going to do that for you. Nobody is going to hack anything and uh, a jolly good ride. It's it's going to be a bumpy ride. You have to make up your mind about it. Okay? But the reward is going to be what you right. And I, I'm, I'm happy about you guys. Friends, he's, he's a good guy. 
It is not everybody that I'm praying that will have very good relationships. But is, is amazing. It's an amazing man. So I want to believe that he will be there. It's okay? And that he's going to make sure that you guys are kind of along, even as new knowledge come up. I will not to share. Because the good thing about having an ecosystem is that nobody is a repository of knowledge. Nobody is an island of knowledge. Nobody knows everything. In fact, wow, this is nice. This is amazing. Because I didn't know that. And according to Lord Dennis, God forbid that the lawyer should know everything. I can't talk about everything. It's not possible. God forbid that a blogger should know everything. You cannot know everything. Collaborate, stay in the community, follow guide, and keep on pushing. And when the troubles push you, please push back. And always remember that creativity has no need. So if you know your don't put your name on that list. Don't put your name on that list. It's not By October, I'll come knocking. And it will be my joy. It will be my joy. The greatest thing a mentor will do is to transfer knowledge to you. The more I teach you, is the more you don't need me. The more he teaches you, the more you don't need me. If you need to always be in touch with your mentor, you are his advisor. Unless you have a problem, you ask. But if you need to always consistently be attached to April, no, no, no. I don't even do that kind of thing. So as he's pouring himself out to you, and inviting some of us to pour ourselves out to you, please, the only thing you do for us is to absorb. comes from being, not from learning. It comes from being. So let's commit to being, even in the face of challenges. Let's commit to being. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. You've gotten more than enough value, right? Yes. You've gotten more than enough value, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so um what is uh so um very soon Uncle Ivy will be taking over to talk on Facebook monetization and some other things that a few of us are Interesting, some of us are interested in them, all right. Mm -hmm. So that will just take place very soon. But before that, um, I want to believe that you got value from the, the session of my mentor here, yeah? mm -hmm. you? Yes, yes. So much value. all right. So, do you have any question you'd like to ask? Yeah, any yeah. Huh? yeah. Any question? not too many. Okay. Let us uh, run it. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are all family members. Okay. Immediate and extended. Yes. Okay. All family members. Let's run it. Just one person. Uh, just one person. Let's run it. So at the next only you cannot ask all. <laughs> you understand? I remember. I remember. Remember that most of the questions you have now.
to be answered when we see all the things are going to be sent to you. In terms of setting up yeah. these platforms. Okay. But other things, please ask. Do you understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to get a clearer definition of a blogger and a content creator. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so when people talk about uh, bloggers, if I say blogger, the first thing that comes to your mind is named like Kiki. Yeah. <laughs> oh, then I'm say blogger. The next thing is uh, Insta blog. I mean, just three of them. So there are, there are different kinds of blogging. Okay, you have to understand that. There are bloggers who publish content on social media, they create, manage, and hold attention on social media. The first thing is to understand that. The major thing any blogger is selling is attention. Whether it's on social media or on a website, what you're essentially selling is your attention. Right? So your confusion is in the different kinds. A content creator can also be a blogger. Every blogger is a content creator. Let me just simplify that. Every blogger is a content creator. But not a content creator. Okay. So if you have a page now hmm? on Facebook, you may publish new things that are related to us or just those people or stuff like that. You may call yourself a blogger, but for some of us, you may not agree that you're a blogger. But every person who has a blog, where he's updating things on, you must write content. Mm -hmm. Is it not content creation? Mm -hmm. Content creation is not only dancing on the ring light. It's not. <laughs> okay? When you write articles, you're updating content. Okay? So the simple answer is that. Every blogger is a content creator, but not every content creator. In my opinion, you may be wrong. Another person. Doctor, I am a journalist. Is it compulsory to have organic traffic before you can be able to run that traffic? It's not compulsory, but it's necessary if you can. If you can. So it is not enough to just have a blog where you are pumping traffic. You don't even put a single content. Not even in the week, not even in the month. So that you're running arbitrage does not mean you are abandoning content creation wholly. It is very important. Remember that people are coming for value. Okay? So if you're a doctor and there's an epidemic, you've not written anything about it on your blog. Okay? It is not okay. So the answer is that you can run arbitrage without SEO. But it is okay to make an effort. It is okay to it's okay to do SEO activities to be able to get some traffic. Okay? And then the real answer you're seeking is that it's actually good to have some SEO traffic to be able. I have I have a site that does over 20,000. So when I mention this, uh, this amount, you need to understand that it's not in one site. Though. Yes. It is not in one site. If I have a site, I don't, there was a time I used to do that thing. There was one month I did uh, $67,000 in a blog. From that time, the high BP I had on the 20th, the high BP, I, I did not sleep. Because anything can go wrong. So after that period, I cancelled it in my life. If my target is not to I will share it. This guy, I want 10000 as well. This guy. This guy. You get it. I share it. Mm, he That's doing that big amount. It's because you have some organic traffic. Okay. Make sense? So your blogs are safer in terms of access arbitrage when they have organic traffic. Next question. Sir, uh, is it good to use uh, AI to write articles? Uh, well, the question is whether it will work. There are tools. And then we do that. For instance, if you write with uh, ChatGPT, and then people will use Queen Bot to get it, spin it, and all of that. But I believe that what will be doing an architecture by doing it, it's able to detect some of those things. Currently, there are doing SU.
Why? Because I'm really beauty. So if you're doing SEO, yeah, if you're doing um I mean, right, they just spark them. In that way you're going to tell the devil. Okay? So why not follow the path where you have reasonable control? So that you may tell the devil that you also have uh, six packs yourself. Make sense? Yes, sir. So how can we get them expired the list? Mm -hmm. Alright, okay, expired notes. I will have a list. I just need to walk. Which page that is? Go to Iron Box. Set up ads. And then you can walk. Which one is one? Which one is one? Which one is one? Okay, the one, right? Yeah. If you run it for four days and you're going to call any cash Unless you have money. But you don't have money. I want to say we should say hi to them. <laughs> right? So I assure you, just check out time box. Okay? Or you give it. Okay, right? Get first. Uh, so no, the first day do not come out. Second day, they don't hear you come out. Right? But I assure you from the third day, fourth day, you are receiving this email. It's not, uh, even if there's a problem, what would you need to go? So, I want to ask uh, how can a video content record come in from Florida? Like, how do you connect together? Okay, so th there's, a, there's a platform for Sir, that. I think the mic is not working. We can't hear you. Okay, you just receive the So sorry. So sorry, the battery is down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's just, just give me. It was Can you guys hear me? You can hear me. Just say hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. So do you understand my question? Yeah, I get the question. So there are different uh, platforms. You know, there was something I wanted to teach here, yeah. but I did not go into it. I want to teach monetization that is beyond Google AdSense. Google AdSense is not the only way to make money. I wanted to teach that. It's, it's very important because even if AdSense is having an issue, I have blogs now that have like 1K, 2K. There's no AdSense. Okay? Like outside of AdSense. So there are different platforms. Now, if you're doing a video creator, YouTube. YouTube is your thing, right? Then, for those who are doing SEO, video is also good for ranking, for the ranking factor. Mm -hmm. This is our experience recently. Mm -hmm. okay. you should, you should use those platforms. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, this, this is the ranking factor. Okay, we should use those platforms to draw traffic to YouTube. It's, it's a possibility, yes. Okay, you're a video guy. Amazing. Okay, next person. Welcome, man. Sir, uh, 
USA. The essence of using USA alone is to lift the limits of your account. Okay. When you turn it on, even you, the owner of the site, cannot visit it because you're from Nigeria. Unless, of course, you're using VCN to find a way to visit the website. Okay. But you don't have to visit the website now. You don't. Because you're going to be seeing the, the, the location on the access that was. Yes. Yes. So please, just turn off every traffic. Allow only the United States of America. Okay? Yes. Five days, six days. The audio is off again. The battery is off. 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 Let's change it. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um. Next person. So, I want to ask, how do you manage it? Okay. Thank you. That's a very interesting question. Thank you so much. I am somebody that does not like using multiple devices. Okay. I have only one phone. I probably have just one line. Okay. Apart from business and all that. There was a time Goku was very heavy on tracking IP. Like if you log in here, I log in here. They were banned. So I think we may have to get this okay, so that people can. I'm just bringing this up. Is there a way to charge it in case? Ladies and gentlemen, can you hear him? Can you hear him? Are you with me? They are all muted now. Victor, Victor, is that they can't hear me? Is it not possible that you still can pick my voice? You are still out. Yes, can you pick my voice? Yes, it's can. Yes, it's can. Okay. Can you hear him? Can you hear him? Ladies and gentlemen, can you hear him? Okay, okay. Gentlemen that can hear little little and those that can hear big big, are you there? Yes, we can hear you Oh, I'm so happy to be on the call with you guys. You guys are our online family. If you were not family members, I would have called you monitoring spirits. But we are family members, so we're happy to have you guys. So the question is, how do you manage... Um, Multiple access accounts. I like this question because it is telling me that you are a business guy. <laughs> I like that. There's no reason why something that's giving you two k you should have only one account. When you're starting out, it's okay to have one and you're managing one, making money. But as you're making money, why do you want to make money and chop the money? Okay. One of the biggest challenges I had starting out was that I was making money, chopping and investing the money outside the business. I would have grown faster, I would have gone further, if anybody had indeed advised me to be putting that money back into business. So you just buy empty land somewhere and keep a build house, right? Since I left law school, I think I've driven like seven cars. Since I left law school, every year I find it almost irritating to use a car beyond 10 months. That's like, why? Because I, since, since my law school, I've never bought any car that I bought my own money income. I've never bought it. doesn't matter even if the car is beating me. I've never bought a car that I bought my own money income. So it's easier to be able to do that. But if you're starting out and you have one account, why are you getting 2K and you're spending part of 2K? What is wrong with multiplication? So I like that your question. It means you're thinking nice. So if you have multiple accounts, there was a time Google was very heavy on this uh, multiple account issue. It's, a, it's against their policy. You have two accounts to your name. That is what they say. But it's not what we do. And me, I like saying what I do, not what he says. So what I do is that I use multiple devices to manage different accounts. Right? 
But it does not mean that one device cannot have two accounts. Make sense? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, so this, this device now, this is a phone, right? I literally have like, I think I have like three accounts that I'm using to manage this phone. So the device does not exceed three this thing, right? So this this account now presently has like eight thousand six hundred dollars spending inside of it. That will be paid out. And this is also an analysis I want to teach. I don't put money in an account that I have money that has not been paid out. Look at this account now. What is spending inside it is eight thousand six hundred, right? Until they give me this money, I'm not good. I'm not putting any one naira inside it. Why? It is business. And that's why when I started, I kept shouting, is this a hobby to you or a business? A business? You have to decide that this is a business to you. So I have a car that has over 17,000 pennies. You want me to put my number inside? It cannot work. Okay? It's red in red. You, you, you give me what we've done, we go again. Make sense? So devices, the managing devices, I can have two accounts, three accounts on one device. Okay? But if you have multiple devices, and if you are starting out, I have only two accounts. Just use separate, separate devices. But remember that Hogwarts is no longer as heavy as they used to be on the IP, like logging into multiple. I think they've come to terms with reality that even with all that, their police that people still have multiple accounts. Because what's your name, sir? Google. But well, you can still use your account number to collect money now. Maybe so. Still make one call, you score and on about 10 accounts. <laughs> Makes sense? And that account does not go to work every month. Since now, this month, I'm 20k, 10k, 5k, right? As you're waiting to pay me, I use the other six to get my money and keep it ready. You pay me, I retire these ones and I bring these ones. It's business. You know, it is business. It is business. It's not a hobby. There's no hobby. And that's why I don't joke about it. I don't. And what does it take? Put money in your ad account now. I'm not doing self loading If I want to sleep, I load, uh, transfer, uh, put $500 or $1,000 in my account. I'm not going to check around 2 o'clock to see what's happening. If it's not working, uh, guy, what do they happen? I check. So, multiple devices to be safe, but I want you to calm down your mind. It's no longer as serious as this. Okay, let me mention something. I think that question I've actually asked it on. But because I was not fully ready, you know, I just took the, the answer you gave me and I'm like, I'm still going to have to ask it. So you said like um, if you have multiple Google accounts, you still use the same uh, name to you know, for payments, like to receive payments with one bank or different banks. So oh, okay, so let me say that one of the, the biggest traumatic nights I've ever had in my life was the day I was receiving uh, thirty three thousand and uh, seven thousand with one bank account. I did not know. It's against my policy. I have policies that I like, use of engagement for myself, and I keep shouting to the group now. I, I don't use one bank account to receive multiple payments. People do it. It works for them, right? Sometimes there are issues. So I did not know how to change bank account to one of these accounts. Guy, I just pulled my throat. See, I got email. Yeah, previous yeah, recent payment has uh, been this, 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 this. Thank you. So. If I want to receive, the account numbers can bear my name. But it's not the same banks. I have the Wissera account in Access. I have in GT Bank. I have in Union Bank. I have in UBA. I have in Polaris Bank. I have in Fidelity. I have in UBA. So, let me do one quote if you structure yourself. So, when I give an entire account, what do you do? Most times, okay. if you have an entire account, they will give me admin. But before the time, it doesn't matter what, as long as the account is live for me, I just need to give me money. I don't have needed need for that account today, at the level I'm operating now. Once you give me that money, before I would need that account, is out of our need. So I've not had any bank because I was putting in traffic and there was no traffic before. This account now that has $8,600. This month, today is what? Second, he has only $200. Maybe a ripple effect of ad I ran. I had that first. No shipping traffic will touch this account until they give me my money. You don't get anything when you enter this account. You need to give me what I've done. So don't be afraid. 
Okay? But well, that's my strategy. Okay? I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. No, no. Because it works. So. It works. But I'm not saying you agree with me. But I'm, not, I'm telling you what I'm doing. I know they say whether or not they do it. These platforms I mentioned there, are they not what I'm using? Some of them are things I've shared in my book. These are, if I teach what I'm doing, not. Uh, so you may decide to adopt it or not. But I don't like to put money. A friend of mine lost $180,000 a few months ago. Wow. Right? Mm -hmm. That $180,000 is about um, almost 160 or 150 something. Okay. What happened? Mm -hmm. She said he was trying to shock us. <laughs> 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 he was trying to shock us. The guy is an SEO guy. Okay? But he's my friend. An SEO guy. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. I, I love the guy. Right? He's my good man. So he said he wasn't going to arbitrage. So I shared with him some of my this thing. Because I was already doing SEO and successful. But I think 10 k 15 k for an SEO. Anybody who's doing 10 k on SEO is successful. He's successful. Yes. Right? Yes. And he has been doing that for over two years. So nobody say he just starts. He did not just start. So he said, My man, I've been in this game fast. I've been in seven years and I'm doing 10 kids. And I watch you play people even in my house. And in two months they collect more than what I'm taking for seven years of investment. I say, guy, what thing they happen? I say, my brother. You know there's this hatred of SEO people for habitat of the bad man. There's a hatred. They are doing it low. Mm. There's a hatred. When I was among the first people that popularized arbitrage. Yes. It is very difficult to say arbitrage in Nigeria. I don't mention my name. It's very difficult. Yes. In fact, when I started talking about it, yes, when I started talking about it, people were saying it's a lie. Yeah, can somebody get twenty thousand? I mean, that guy. <laughs> but people went there with me in Siam. It's not a uh, story. Do you get? It? So the guy came to me. I said, my man. We are together. This is what I do. I carry my laptop in for his house. You already had absence. You already had a blog. He's doing well. So you get it. He duplicated, just copy, invest. Our first move, we pay 5,000. Wow. Because we already had a system. He had systems. Yes. We need to invite him. See, my man. If this thing works, you will tell him. I said, I'm not going to pay you. Are you expecting not to pay you? The second month, he did, uh, I think, um, 47,000. He stopped keeping me in the loop. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not bad. I don't like this person is part of my group. I know they do everyday talking. I'm not your boyfriend, I'm not your husband. Mm. I show you what I do. You know, if you have issues, we can talk. Do you understand? You don't have to be you don't have to be tied to my everyone. I want you to go into the world and to see that. Some people have thought things, you have gone on to learn things I don't even know. Why? Because there's a culture that you have to research, you have to find out things. If this guy was part of my group, he would not ask me where to buy a five dollars. You cannot do that. Because there's no and we encourage the culture research. So this guy left, which is not a bad thing, he's my guy. The third month he did one hundred and two thousand dollars. And what could be this people? <laughs> yeah, when we started, when we started online, when we started online, and we're measuring this thing, we were like, it was the time I, the one that broke the internet was this $5,000 payment that I shared. That one, eh, people came from my head, but me, if I really chop my head, I'm a very calm person, but however you want it, I will leave you. You want trouble, I'm around. You want peace, I'm around. If it's got things that you want, I do. However, it is that you want it. But trouble is what I do for a living. I don't understand. It is your problem. Right? And there's something you do to me. I will find you in real life and keep it you. And I've had people that took my money. If you're with my money and in this country, I'll wait you. It doesn't matter where you are. That long leg, I have it. I've had guys, they went to Benway, hide the side hole. I will come and carry you from wherever you are. So this guy, 102,000. Him. The following month, the money that was in balance and the money that was reading for I think the fifth month was cumulatively one hundred and eighty-six thousand. And we closed it. So this goes to portray my point that you can make money just not knowing you should. 
So as you're scaling up, it is very important that you consider that this is business. Is this safe? You jump from doing 10,000 to 120,000 dollars. In five months. In two months. You have a system, it can work. Right? I've trained somebody who is here. His other sibling is in the UK. I've told this story in the group before, in our meeting. I trained this guy. First month, he did the $2,000. Because he bought money from his brother abroad. God did that and he did $2,000. That was in 2000, what, 2019. Or so, 2019. When many chat was in the UK. Around 2019 or so. Right? So this guy, this whole two kids. He said, that brother, we're a doctor. He said, you are in Nigeria. You, you, you did $2,000. It was incredible. He pumped money. He did 30,000. Splits the money. The brother collects. Boom, collects. Okay? At that level, my brother, I had not even started doing 20,000 in my life. But it's not bad. The, the happiness of a father is for his children to do way bigger things. The money you're collecting from Goku is not my money. It does not matter how much you make. That is why I share what I know. Because you are making money from your property. It doesn't matter. Unless I don't have the time. When you have the time and I share what I'm doing, do it. If you make 10k and I make 10k, everybody here can collect the 10k. Nobody knows that we exist. We are too small. We are very, very small. Nobody knows you're breathing around here. You know they. You know they for matter. So that guy dropped to 80,000 and he closed the account. So these are the two experiences I want to share. To work first and find that there's money in the industry. But don't overlook your account. Don't overspend your account. Don't tempt your cheek. 